Work to repair and reopen a local fire station closed since January could soon get underway. MTN's Coulter Anstad explains what's expected to happen tonight and what the reopening would mean for the fire department and the community. So this is our old uh, shower laundry area. Fire Station 4 in Great Falls needs a lot of work. There's no kitchen, there's no bathroom, no shower, locker room area. Uh, so we'd have to get that going. Uh, we don't have any laundry facilities for our equipment. At their meeting Tuesday night, city commissioners will consider awarding a contract for a little over $217,000 to WVH Enterprises for the work. The fire station has been essentially unusable since sewer line repairs were done earlier this year. We never wanted to leave a district unprotected, uh, and we've done everything in our power that we could to try to minimize the offset of that. Since the closure, the firefighters who work at the station have had to work out of Station 1. While that may not be ideal, it hasn't been all bad. District 1 is our busiest house, about 3,800 calls a year. So having two crews run out of that house has really helped us with the call volume in that district. Interim Fire Chief Jeremy Jones says if the commissioners approve the bid for the work, it will feel like the light at the end of the tunnel. Everyone's anxious to get this going, to get this project done, and to see it come to completion. In Great Falls, Coulter Anstat, MTN News. If the bid is approved, the uh, Jones is hopeful the work will be completed in February or March of next year.